While flying around the majestic Cape Peninsula and rounding the tip of Africa, I've always dreamt of exploring its vast open spaces by microlight. After some research and a lot of planning, I decided to fly to the Fish River Canyon in Namibia, the world's second largest and rarely visited canyon system. My friends Tiet and Mark both eagerly agreed to join me. Tiet was to fly and Mark to double as ground support in second camera unit. Mark and I started preparation about a month before we were due to leave. We fitted a ballistic parachute along with other new safety features to my microlight. One of the main challenges was figuring out how to mount and connect the multi-camera system and switch box onto my trike. And uh, changing over to camera two. Yes, yeah, so that's all working great. The day before we left, we packed all of our necessary supplies. These included camping gear, emergency food and water, in case we became separated from Mark. Tiet arrived after trailing his trike from Port Elizabeth, about 700 kilometers to the east of Cape Town. We assembled and packed his trike, ready for our early morning departure. The planned route starts in Cape Town and hugs the west coast until we reach the Orange River, the natural border between South Africa and Namibia. We then plan to fly down the Orange until we meet the Fisher River and follow it until we reach the Fisher River Canyon itself. In total it should take us about two weeks, including the inland return leg of our journey back to Cape Town. <laughs> 